Uh, help us understand what's going on here then, Maria, because uh, Puigdemont, on the one hand, defending the claim to independence, defying Spain, but on the other hand, suspending that independence mandate because he wants to suspend dialogue. The key question is how any of that is viewed and interpreted in Madrid. Hi, Anna. Good morning. We will just have the letter. It's a four-page letter that he sent over to Madrid. Again, remember, the petition from the Madrid government was very clear. You need to answer with a simple yes or no answer to this question. Did you declare a republic? Now, the language in this letter, it's incredibly vague. He's saying he's got a mandate to create this republic, but again, he suspended the process by which this republic would be created, seeking talks. Now, again, he's repeated, I have two conditions. One is the, the uh, police that was deployed here, actually, leaves and then the second one is that we uh, can do a meeting with Rajoy as soon as possible again the question here is what is Madrid going to do with this because they were very clear all he needs to do is a simple yes or no answer if he responds a yes then again article 155 will be triggered and if he doesn't come up with a concrete answer yes or no article 155 will also be triggered so I guess you can interpret this as Madrid having all the grounds to trigger this article and give him a very final warning uh, Maria, we're just looking at the Spanish government bond market. I mean, there's no immediately aggressive response here. 1.60 is where we are on the 10-year government bond yields. So we're nipping down just by 10 basis points. Again, the, the, the question for markets is, is to what extent do we go into this discussion, negotiation period? Is it stepping back from the brink? He's still holding on to the right. It's almost as if he seems to have held on to the right to claim independence um, and suspending, uh, suspending that for the moment. So it, it's sort of creating more ambiguity and more uncertainty uh, rather than taking us forward. I, I agree. I think it's two things matters. First, uh, the vote, going very back to basics, has always been illegal. He can claim to have a mandate, but no one else actually recognizes his mandate. And when I say no one else, I mean the central government, but also the courts in Spain, and most importantly, the European Union. And then secondly, I think the markets are basically interpreting this as, you know, Article 155 is going to be triggered and Madrid is going to take control of the region. So no matter what pitch the Mont and his time in office, it's looking very bleak and probably he won't be here by the end of the week. Thank you.